Hi Chads and Chadliness. Today we will make this. This is a simple FX. First look for some images of the chaddy s chads among the chaddy chads on internet to get started. I have my images lined up to the beat. On the song I made last night it turned out decent. When you go to the audio waveform settings you can see the beats. Just put your images on the beats. So, first I'll start pre-composing each image. Right click and pre-compose. Match my settings. Lastly this one. Let's add a beam effect, double click on the layer, to navigate to their separate comps. In my case I will open layer number 2, and 4, and 6. I will use shape tool, and create shapes around the eyes. You can duplicate the shape or simply recreate another. Put glow effect to it. Then put Gaussian blur effect. Any sort of blur effect would work. Put glow effect one more time. Basic idea is to distort the glow, so it looks really beginner or noob made effect. Now hold alt button, and click glow radius, then type this little code. Then create adjustment layer. Put glow effect on it to get the skin lighting effect. Hold alt button and click glow threshold. And type this little code. Copy these two layers. And paste them to the other two compositions. Adjust the eyes position.
To avoid the empty cropped edges, I will put motion tile effect to the layer. If you put high values it will crash, so just keep values under 4 or 500. Then put the same effect on all the layers. Go to this website from the description box. And copy this code. You should only be moving one or two frames on your timeline. Create a keyframe for position, and move it forward. Then change the value to add another keyframe. Paste the code you copied, inside position values. When played it will give a bounce effect. Do the same thing for the other layers. Here I'm doing the same thing for each layer. Then open scale, add a keyframe, go forward and increase the value, do this on other layers as well, basically making zoom effect. I have just duplicated the clips a lot of times to loop them, now create an adjustment layer, we will use this to play with colors. Put color balance effect to it. I just use this effect for very minor changes. Then put a curves effect. Not going for anything specific just play around with effects until your whole edit looks like one single video. Not multiple things, but a one single thing.
Now my good people, I will show you our goated trick to get that old clip and low quality resolution effect and purposefully turn it into a low quality image than it already is. Create an adjustment layer. Put it at the top of everything. Put a CC Griddler effect. Now copy what I do. I won't make it extreme just a very little and tiny effect. You can go extreme if you have high quality images. Mine are already damaged. See how it gives those horizontal lines to the image. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.